Hey everybody, how are you? Welcome to Sunday Night Hangs with your boy John. I'm uh, making some stuff so that we can have a killer episode tomorrow night with Chris at the Vegan Zombie House. Um, so I have to make some stuff ahead of time. So if you didn't know, every Sunday, I'm sorry, every Monday, I've been going over to Chris's house and we've been cooking live. Uh, and every week it's been growing, so make sure that you go check uh, the Vegan Zombie channel out and uh, hang out with us every Monday. Hey, Trini, welcome. I'm just going to get the kitchen set up here. Give me a minute here. Hi, AJ. I'm not gonna give away what we're making tomorrow, but what I'm making tonight is uh, corned beef flavoring for tofu and seitan. Linda, welcome. How are you? Happy Sunday. Happy St. Patrick's Day. For the tofu tonight, I'm going with um, Soy Boy. I think that they make a much more dense tofu than the Wegmans brand, and I definitely need this for tomorrow night. First time using the juicer in this house. Gonna need some beets for beet juice. Nice little color. Why other knock it? Gotta peel these beets real quick. I figured why not hang out tonight? I love the chat room because you guys can all talk while I'm like not looking at the screen. And it's just it's a nice it's a nice way to not be alone while I'm alone, if that makes any sense. I don't love being alone in this house. Um as I'm going through a lot of these life changes, you know, I'm learning a lot about myself and learning how to be happy with just me. You guys, I've, I've realized over the last year that uh, I've got a lot of me work to do. Um, and it's painful, honestly. I'm just gonna bare my soul to you, it's a little painful. Um, and I normally like to spread joy on YouTube, but I also like to be transparent. I wear my heart on my sleeve and uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a lonely journey right now, but I think 
with all the amazing friends and family that I have right now, y'all are helping me through this and um, really, really making it as easy as it can be to go through, you know, this kind of stuff. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all my friends who've been there for me. It's, uh, you know, this is a, this is a side that like most people don't get to see, you know, because I'm either trying to make my friends laugh in front of the camera or just super busy, keeping myself super busy. But I got to be real with myself, got to be real with you guys. I'm super excited about tomorrow night because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about what we're going to be making. For sure, it's going to be fun and hopefully delicious. I love the color of the beads. Like, look at, look at the patterns on that. Just so beautiful. Anybody do anything fun over the uh, f over the weekend for St. Patty's Day? I had to work yesterday and today, um, so I didn't like do any fest festivity stuff, but. Hung out with somebody last night for a little bit, which was really nice. And now tonight, I mean, meal prep last week was awesome. Was it last week? I, I think it was. Yeah, it was last week. I made that tofu scramble. I pretty much ate that every day for breakfast all the way up until yesterday. Today, I just had toast with a little nutritional yeast on it. I'm thinking, probably not tonight, but like for breakfast for the next few days, I might do like a chickpea mash and put that over toast with some pickled onions uh, just to switch it up a little bit. You know, I, I really like the savory element of breakfast lately. So what's up, Holly? slice these beets up, run the juicer for a second. I don't need a lot of beet juice because it's such a vibrant, strong color that uh, a little bit goes a long way, but I need it for both the seitan and the tofu, so I am going to juice all these beets. This also adds a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of earthiness to the uh, to the to what I'm making, and basically, for those of you who ask, I'm I'm making um kind of like a roast beef. I'm sorry, um, uh, corn beef flavoring for what we're going to be making tomorrow. So I'm going to be doing a baked tofu, and I'm also going to be making a seitan with vital wheat gluten. That's kind of vital wheat and gluten is some people call it cheating because it's not like the washed flour recipe, but for what we're doing. With it tomorrow, I think it's gonna be worth it. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my beet hands. I'm gonna turn the juicer on, make sure it works. I'll be juicing from afar. I think what I'll do is move my computer over here so I can kind of read stuff as I'm cutting and prepping.
Just like that, done. I will need some vinegar. I'm gonna use apple cider vinegar for this. Tiny bit of oil. And what I got, just because it was easier, I got some pickling spice. Really the only thing that the pickling spice doesn't have that I wanted was juniper berry and I couldn't get my hands on any of that. But I think it's gonna be, we're gonna make a good flavor for tomorrow for sure. <laughs> I work at a garden center so I theoretically go, could probably pick some juniper berries off of some of the plants, but it's fine. Let me see if I can move this to move you guys over so I can read what you're saying. I don't know, I might actually mix some of the beet pulp in with the seitan, a little textural difference, just to see what it does. The cool, the cool thing is if the seitan turns out terrible, we'll just use the tofu for tomorrow's special uh, dish. Um, okay, I'm gonna crush some garlic. I'm gonna move you guys over so I can read the screen. It all sounds like the making of a murder scene. <laughs> hey, Deneen. Keetra, how are you? What did you miss? Um, I am making some stuff for tomorrow nights. And, you know, just so I'm sure everybody in this room knows, but every Monday I get together with Chris. We're kind of revamping the cooking with the vegan zombie, but we're doing it in a live format because he's got so much going on with the movie and I've got a lot going on as well. But this is a great way for us to interact with our friends and also talk recipe, talk veganism, and go over any kind of current events. So it's been really fun and it's been growing every week. Uh, we started with the first week having about 80 folks in the chat room and last week we had up to 130 people. So like, I'm hoping to keep on growing it and growing the community and really revamping what Chris and I do while we kind of figure out the next step. Obviously, he's got his hands full working on the movie, um, but we, we're, we're working on some other fun potential plans for later in the season. Once I get out of the spring season at the garden center, because we do so much business in like three, three weeks or I'm sorry, like two months. All right, so we got beet juice. We got a half a cup of beet juice. Now I'm gonna cut that with a half a cup of water. And then we'll probably add more water because it is that she's dark. Look how dark she is. Real dork. I'm gonna smash this garlic for the marinade. I'll probably run the garlic, you know what? Probably gonna run the garlic through my garlic press as well. I'll move this down a little so you guys can get. Maybe I'll move, move it back. Let me know if you want me to change the scenery here. I tried to get some lion's mane mushrooms for tomorrow, but I'm probably gonna wait till next week. So I'm gonna add my cloves of garlic to the beet juice. And then I think I'll probably make the seitan. It's a pretty basic seitan recipe.
spliced up a little bit, obviously, with my own personal touch. A little cold now. I had the heat running, but we got we got a lot of cold weather coming up this week. What? Wilder? I didn't drop anything. Pickled beets in a salad, that's delicious. I didn't drop anything, Wilder. Get out. I should probably write this down because I'm kind of testing the recipes and sometimes like I, I knock it out of the park and I can never replicate it. So let's, uh, let's make sure I don't do that. All right. Let's whisk in our garlic into our beet water. Go All right, a little mixing bowl here. For the seitan, I'm gonna get my dry ingredients my uh, together first. Three quarter cup of vital wheat gluten. I'm gonna toast this and uh, toast some of this and then grind it up about te two teaspoons worth. Toasting it kind of releases some of the natural oils. You just gotta be careful not to burn it.
Wilder, stop. You know, I don't know if I have, I don't know if I have a grinder, so I'll just use my mortar and pestle here. All right, so we got three quarter cup of vital wheat gluten, one quarter cup of flour. We're gonna put some salt, about a teaspoon, some onion powder for sure. What I like about grinding the spice up and putting it right in the seitan mix is uh, it's really gonna like take on that flavor. I'm also gonna. I don't know. I, I this is the only time it's gonna be in the seitan mix. The tofu mix, it's just gonna be. It's gonna be. I'm gonna boil it with some of the beet juice, a little vinegar, and then um, uh, marinate it overnight. So that, or I'm gonna bake it. Sorry, uh, in the marinade. And then tomorrow, what's gonna happen is, uh, well, you'll still see. Make sure you tune in. I'm probably gonna pop in between seven, uh, six thirty and seven tomorrow. So I, I imagine Chris and I will probably be live around seven thirty. I'd like to change the format a little bit with him and just say, um, we'll do some announcements. I'll tell you what some of the announcements are gonna be tonight. Cause I'm, I, uh, I have a lot of stuff to talk about with the farm. Oh, thank you, Travis. Travis says I'm the, one of the only people that are entertaining to watch cook. You know, I just think I'm entertaining enough to do anything. You know what I'm saying? Linda, I'm not gonna spoil it, all right? I'm gonna, I'm teasing it, don't worry. There's a difference between a spoiler and a teaser. Okay. Let's put a little bit of black pepper in there. Great. Now, we need two-thirds cup of liquid. So I'm gonna do about a half a cup of that watery beet juice and then add another because it's so red so so red all right so we got our two-thirds cup of liquid now we're just gonna mix this and make it a little dough with it we'll see we'll see what kind of it might be too red i'm not sure Oh, I did want to pour a splash of vinegar in here as well. Just about a teaspoon. That was like two teaspoons. That's fine. Might be too red. We'll see, though. We'll see what happens when it cooks, you know. And I would make this tomorrow night, but this, this would take like two hours. So it's like, that's the whole episode. I would much rather have some of this stuff pre-made and kind of walk you through it. Um, and, and that way, Chris and I can spend more time kind of talking, telling stories, which is I think is like the most entertaining part of the show. All right. 
I'm going to knead this for about, I don't know, five minutes. See if it gets to be the consistency that I'm looking for. And then I'm going to pour one cup, okay, one cup of beet juice. One cup of water again. That's going to be for my tofu marinade. Oh, I can't. I'm actually excited to try this tomorrow with Chris. So you guys have to tune in. Hopefully it'll be as delicious as I want it to be. I remember when I first made the, um, when I first made the seitan for the no killy Philly. And it was like, I was so excited. I called Chris. I'm like, dude, I just made a Philly cheesesteak and it was so Good. That's probably the most excited I've ever, I've ever been for the vegan zombie. Um, I will say the pot pie that I, when I tested that, that was a really fun test. Um, what else? That's all stuff I can talk about with Chris tomorrow. Look at that color. It's a little too red, but we'll see. If it's gross, eat it anyway. That's right, Linda, I'll shame eat it. <laughs> um, yeah, and you know, guys, I'll tell you, it's been really nice being back at the garden center. A lot of customers are starting to call and ask, you know, when it's time to plant. And it's it's nice to have the answers. It's And it's nice to interact with people. This, I'm like learning a lot about myself right now. Like what makes John Ted tick? Hey, St. Patty's Day. Thank you, Heavy Metal, for the $10 tip. $10 super chat. So while I'm needing this, I do want to tell you um, so, something that's been on my mind for a while. I want to put a piece of paper towel on so I don't screw this up. Um, most of you guys know I, I moved back home to Syracuse from the farm. Um, for, for many reasons, um, Keetra, thank you. Thank you so much. I love you guys. You guys are the best. Um, it has been a hard transition because those animals at the farm were like my best friends, are like my best friends. And to be two hours away from them now is a sad reality, but it's a, it's a necessary reality because... All of my future is right here in Syracuse. Everything that I can do. And also, um, my dad's been having some health issues. And I, I want to be close so that I can help out during those times. Uh, but it, it is hard. It's hard to not be able to run out to the farm if they need me. So what I'm going to be doing is every, every Monday with Chris, I'd like to do like some announcements first thing. And, uh, and I'd like to encourage people to donate to Mockingbird, but not regularly donate. What I'm trying to do is raise money for the operational cost of having a farm, which means uh, paying a, a, an animal caregiver, a, a daily chore person. Most of the donate, all of the donations any other way go straight for animal care. The feed, uh, vet costs, um, hay, which is part of the feed, uh, and, and um, infrastructure stuff. But what I want to do is I want to have overhead costs taken care of, and I want to be able to pay our amazing um, new hire. His name's Andy. He started as a volunteer, and he's just, he's just, he is an amazing need, like much needed addition to the farm. I think Mockingbird was originally just going to be fully volunteer based, but uh, with my health, both mental and physical, but mostly physical. I got a lot of bad back problems. And with um, Janelle's health, it's been nothing but just uh, left and right. Janelle's been getting hit with just health issues. And I made sure I got her permission to talk about it a little bit. That's all I'll say is just her health. You know, um, it would really help the farm to get enough money to be able to make sure we can pay our farm, our caregiver for, you know, six months. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Like with the vegan zombie stuff is ask people to donate and put either my name or the vegan zombie name. And that way I can take all that money and put that towards the operational expenses. And I, I just think that that's going to be, 
it's going to be the best way to help me right now um, because the farm is something I hold so dear to my heart and I'm, I'm bummed that it didn't turn out the way that I was hoping, but still grateful and hopeful that Mockingbird will continue and, um, and, and be okay, you know, and be, be functional and help people go vegan. Like so many, not so many, probably like five of the volunteers that started there weren't vegan before they started and are vegan now. So it's definitely making a difference. And I'll tell you, it's making a difference for the animals too. So that's what I'm going to do. It's going to be way less worded than that. I want to be like a 20 second pitch when we do our, um, our stuff, our intro at the vegan zombie house. What would, oh, out of curiosity, if you can speak on it, what would happen if you guys couldn't keep the farm anymore? Uh, we would have to find other sanctuaries to take the burden of the animals. And there's a handful of them that we would contact. Um, but I mean, I don't even want to think, I mean, obviously that's a backup plan that you always have to think about because there are sanctuaries where the owner dies and they have to like find, so you got to have a backup plan. And we never took on any animals that we knew we couldn't afford or couldn't handle. So um, if it came to that point where we couldn't physically do it anymore, uh, there's there's a few local-ish. Um, luckily, I have a, a, a large reach because of how awesome I am and how popular and famous I am. That I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, but I don't want it to get to that, you guys. I don't, I don't think it's going to get to that. Um, and I obviously like that's not fair for me to speak on behalf of the board like that but but it's important for you to know like there is a backup plan for a backup plan for a backup plan and uh, yeah. Have a good night Kicho. thanks for stopping in. Hopefully you can uh, swing out tomorrow night. Oh my gosh, thank you. You're the best. You have a good night. John, did you write the ingredients down? I think so. All right, so.
for this recipe, I have to put this in plastic wrap. And I'm gonna let it rest for like 20 minutes before I put it in the oven. So we're gonna set that aside. We're also gonna put it in tin foil. But I think that there's enough going on behind the scenes in terms of our fundraising committee that we're gonna be okay at the farm, you guys. I don't wanna make anybody worry right now. But I, I wanted to tell you that that's the best way to help is to get some money in the overhead part because none of the, the none of the donations go towards that. And these donations would. Okay, now we are gonna season our marinade. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do another five, six cloves of garlic. And I'm not gonna um, grate the garlic this time. I'm just gonna smash it. Ooh, five tacos, Deneen? Hell yeah. Tacos. Ta Speaking of tacos, I've been going out every Tuesday to this Mexican joint called uh, Alto Cinco. It's a good place here in Syracuse. And um, I've just been loving it. I've been loving the food. I've been loving the company. I've been laughing a lot. It's been really nice. I'm a little tired on the drive to the farm the next day, but that's fine. Totally worth it. What'd you ask, uh, Linda? Oh, okay. And the cutting board has run on it. You asked if my hands got stained too. Oh yeah, there's still a little stain, but I will, they'll, it'll rinse off in a couple of days. A couple of days, it should rinse off in the shower. I don't know why I said a couple of days. All right, so we'll smash that. We're gonna turn this on high to bring it to a boil. We're gonna add some salt. We're gonna add uh, two tablespoons of the pickling spice. Oh, that's right, and Linda, I'll write that down. Other ways that I plan on bringing in some money for the farm is, do, is doing some stuff around here, some local events in Syracuse. A nice little picnic, outdoor picnic in the summertime. Um, I'd love to bring the Chili Fest back. We only had that one year, but it was so fun.
Smelling good in here. Nice, dense tofu. This is gonna do really well in the oven. Oh, by the way, I have to preheat the oven to 475. We're gonna bake it. And then I'm gonna cut this into thirds. I, I'm cutting this right now because I think it's gonna absorb the flavor a lot better. And for what I need it for for tomorrow, it's gonna be this is gonna work out great. Even if it breaks up a little bit, it should be good. All right, so you see, I got chunks like that. Now this should soak up that marinade really nicely, which by the way I should whisk. Oh, it smells so good. Once I bring this up to a boil, I will pour it into this little pan and I'm going to leave it uncovered in the oven because I would like for that to just kind of reduce down into a thick, rich, almost sauce where it's just gonna sit in overnight so that tomorrow when I go to make what we're making, it's it's gonna be so much, it's gonna be bursting flavor. It's gonna be the best thing Chris ever tasted, all right? He's gonna wanna high five me. He's gonna wanna high five himself after tasting it. <laughs> hey Mike. Welcome. Yes, I'm making seitan corned beef and I'm also gonna marinate this tofu in like a uh, corned beef kind of seasoning with some beet juice for color uh, for tomorrow's thing. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hang out with us tomorrow night, but Every Monday, I'm gonna keep saying it, every Monday, Chris and I are hanging out at the Vegan Zombie house. It's kind of a, it's kind of a revamping of a cooking with the Vegan Zombie. It's just more, it's live. Um, instead of doing all the editing and stuff that we used to do back, in, well, he used to do back in the day, there's just too much going on with life with him trying to edit the video and stuff. I, I've been really, really enjoying um, cooking with him again and laughing and hanging out with you guys. Last week was a lot of fun. We hung out with Noeg Craig. We delivered him some pizza. Smells so good. I'm going to pour it right into here. Okay. Hopefully, all the tofu fits in here. Oops. I don't like saying oops because that means I dropped something and Wilder comes running in to eat it. I'll get it, Dad. Mmm, I don't think that's going to be big enough. Ah, shite. What do I have?
pie dish maybe. Oh, that's too big. That's what she said. <laughs> Not to me. Oh, the, I wish you guys could smell this. It smells really good. Basically, I want to make sure all the tofu is completely submerged in it. I don't know where my casserole... Maybe they're in there. Oh, shit. Okay. I did a very sim similar uh, method when I made the um, like tofu con for our, a pad thai recipe from way back in the day, uh, early YouTube vegan zombie days. Um, baking the tofu, it really makes a nice, dense, like sliceable product. And that's what I'm going for. I texted Chris my, uh, this the idea earlier today and he you know after some discussion some planning this is kind of what we came up with so i'll take this down and kind of show you what it looks like right now before i pop her in the oven. Oh, I love like, I love going live when I can with you guys and just having a bunch of people in the chat room so we can hang out with each other, hang out with me. It's, go it's good. It's good. You guys are great. I love you guys. Like we we really have created a great community community together of uh, friendships from all over the world, and uh, thank you guys so much. I really love you guys. Let me just do some dishes for a few minutes, you guys.
man, it smells so good in here. I don't know. Almost done. Thanks, Heavy Metal, for another super chat. You're the best. Guys are taking care of me, you know? I love it. I'm not worthy! I'm not worthy! Ah. Ah ah Alright. The oven. Oven's ready to go. We got 31 people hanging out in here, dudes. That's pretty fun. Oh, see that thing right there with all the plants in it? 
I'm gonna that's uh that's the let pot that I got last year. Um, I'm gonna be taking all those out because they're kind of overgrown now, and I'm gonna put more basil, definitely parsley because I thought I had parsley in there. Um, and cilantro. I do use cilantro a lot. Uh, I think those are the only three th things I'm going to put because I use those herbs constantly and it's really nice pizza pesto um, Any kind of Mexican food that I'm trying to garnish with I like to put a little in my, my tofu scramble um, uh, And the yeah, that's pretty much it Alexa Set a timer for 40 minutes Oh, wait, let me show you guys. Let me just show you guys what this looks like really quick. We've already been on for an hour. That's ridiculous. Check this out. So, that's the tofu. Marinade. It smells really good. Now we're gonna bake this for like an hour. Mmm, yummy. And we're also gonna bake. We're gonna put the seitan in a water bath, and uh, that's also gonna kind of bake and steam, which is gonna help the seitan expand and become more like have a good chew to it instead of just being like a. Um, uh, a dense brick of vital wheat gluten. Especially when you're using vital wheat gluten, it's just crazy. It's hard to get my phone in here. Give me a second. Okay. So we'll put this in now. For, uh, 475. I think I'm going to turn it down to 450. And now we need to make, get a vessel for my seitan. Holly, you're the best. You guys are you guys are making me wealthy with love. Write down some thanks. Linda, you're right. Uh 450 degrees, one hour. I gotta tell you guys, can I tell you another little um, little secret is I used to just feel bad being live all the time because I felt like it was like putting a damper on my relationship. But now I just like, I really like the, com the community that we created and I don't have to feel bad anymore. I can do whatever I want. So that's really nice. Okay. 
butter chicken pie. A cheesy meat pie. Dang. Do they have these type of vegan markets all the time down under? Okay, seitan is in the oven. And let me just do some dishes for a minute again. Time for some dishes. Let's do some dishes, bitches. All right. Um, I've been doing a lot of work at my parents' property out in Canastota, working on uh, working on a greenhouse. I don't know if some of you follow me on Instagram, but I posted a little story of it. I took all the old bricks out. I cleaned the floor. I dug a huge drainage ditch because it was a really wet area on both sides of the greenhouse. Now it drains into the pond. And then I filled the ditch after I put a pipe through there. Uh, and then I put in some more stone dust, if you've ever heard of it. Uh, next, I'm gonna rent a tamper from Home Depot, like a big giant, almost like a lawnmower, but it like vibrates on a, like a big flat piece of metal. It's gonna make it kind of flat like concrete and then a little bit of leveling. I'm putting the bricks back down. We're setting tables up. We're gonna start growing microgreens there. And I believe my buddy's gonna bring his tomatoes out. So really, I have a lot of things going on right now, but I just feel like I'm at this point in my life where I'm trying to figure out. Um a happy career, not a career where I dread going to work. I'm not saying I do that now, but I am saying it. I need something else, you know? Deneen's gotta go to work. Thanks for hanging out, Deneen. You have a good, have a good work shift. Hell yeah. So Mike, speaking of a vegan market, this property that I've been working on has four acres of land and a lot of square footage like so that we can have a small farmer's market. My thought is I can maybe do some cooking classes out there when we're set up. We can have three or four different grower vendors and then we're officially, you need two or more businesses to become a, an official like farmer's market place. And so we're, we're really close. It's just that property has been kind of neglected for about 20 years. It's, it's accumulated a lot of junk. Um, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a little... I was going to start doing it last year, but my life was just not going to allow that. Holly, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. You better come out tomorrow night.
If you can't, that's okay too. No problem. No pressure. No pressure. Okay. Good. Pretty sure we're all clean now, huh? Oh, just this pot. I'll let this soak though. Oh, Debbie, you got you have a let pot. That's cool. Hell yeah. Um, I tried to grow oregano. That didn't work out well. Really, really, I would just call it my basil maker or my pesto maker. You know. Like if I just did parsley and gar and um sorry jeez parsley and basil in that thing it would be worth it because I keep cutting it back it keeps like pushing new growth um hell I I could probably keep the uh... oh yeah she's sizzling away in there. Um, I could probably keep the cilantro in there, but it's become so like root heavy that I think it's um it's just having a lot of issues. Oh, you got it for Christmas last year, Deb? That's cool. Yeah, I'm um I'm not gonna be planting anything in the yard out here. I just if I'm gonna do any growing, it'll most likely be um It'll might mostly be at that property where the greenhouse is.
I'm probably gonna, I had chili for lunch, but I have so much chili left over that uh, I think I'm gonna have some more right now. Chili, yummy. Um, yeah, so I made that big, big batch of chili last week for meal prep for those of you who hung out with me, and it's it's still going strong. I probably have about three days left, so that's cool. That's right, Mike. Yeah, I like. I'm a chili guy. You know what I've been doing is um. I made nachos for my friends last Friday, I think, or a couple Fridays ago, and I have like corn chips left over, so I'll heat this up. I'll put, this is the cashew cheese, or I'm sorry, yeah, the cashew cheese that I made for um, No Egg Craig's pizza last week. I still have a little bit left over. It's such a good uh, topping. By the way, I made 50 bucks tonight because of you guys, so $49.97, thank you. You know, and maybe, maybe this money is what I'll donate straight to the farm because every $200 I get paid, if I just put that right in the, uh, the, um, let's just call it the payroll account for the farm. I'm paying to have the farm taken care of for, that's a, a week or almost a week. Have you tried that mushy burger? No, I will tell you though. Linda, that um, I left a little bit of mix in the refrigerator to see how it firmed up the next day. And it was much more firm. But to be honest with you, I don't love Beyond Burgers. And that was very Beyond Burger smelling and tasting. Um, so I, I just, I threw it out. I mean, I made a double burger patty out of it. It was pretty good. It wasn't good. I'm lying to you. I don't know why I'm lying. What kind of cheese do we have here? Is this a... Smoke provolone. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll slap a slice of cheese on here, bury it in the chili, and let it melt. So freaking good, you guys. It's okay to not like stuff. Everything isn't for everyone. Yeah, I know, but I guess I just feel bad because it was a gift. Niels, Niels sent it all the way from Germany. I still have some Germans. Actually, I think I have some dessert in here. Uh, let's make this. I don't know what it is. I gotta go. I gotta go grab my cheat sheet. I'll be right back. Be right back. That's famous last words in a scary movie, don't you? <laughs> All right, before I do that though, you guys gotta see this. This is ridiculous. Who's the best girl? Huh? I'm looking for some Syracuse people to help me watch the dogs because uh, I won't have anybody. My, my friend Katie's about to have her baby and uh, Wilder, you're so cute. Dog cam. Hi. Hi, are you a good girl? Are 
you good girl. What are you doing? Are you the best girl? I took him over to my parents' house for a little bit today. That was nice. They always like getting out of the house. He's smiling. It's you, Belle. Belle's nine years old. She's such a baby, aren't you? Aren't you such a baby? I hope they're happy. What are you doing over there, Wilder? Uh -huh. Yeah, so I, I put this sheet down because um, I put these two blankets down so they don't destroy my sheets. And then I bought a nice comforter for myself. And uh, I try to keep that covered, but they already got d dog blood on it and mud on it. Bell. All right, let me get my cheat sheet now. See what, see what we're making for dessert tonight, if it's even possible. Maybe it's like some sort of instant thing here. Oh, I gotta stir my chili. Oh shit, she's boiling. Chili cam. Let's see if that cheese melted. It's kind of hard to stir <laughs> through the lens of a camera. Oh man, I look at all the beet juice. I'll tell you what, I'm not going to miss this stove when I leave here. She'll melt. She'll melt eventually. AJ, thank you for the super chat. We're at 59 clams, you guys. Let's see what I can do. Let's see what happens if I change the filter on this. This looks fun. Take on, right? That's the video. Me, take on me, take me on, take on me, I'll be on, I get demonetized and all the money you guys gave me gets taken by whoever owns that song now. <laughs> oh, I look, I look all right, you know, I look all right. What's this one? Ooh, yeah, yes. What's this one? Oh, Bubs. I remember blowing bubbles as a kid. He called me to say hi the other day. <laughs> <laughs> this is a family friendly establishment, John. I like the black and white. This this feels like me. Daya oat milk cheddar. 
Dea oat milk. Interesting, huh? Uh, AJ, if you don't mind, where are you from? Whereabouts do you live? I'd like to get my hands on some. I'd love for like companies to start. Um, I'd love for the for companies to start selling. Oop. <laughs> Uh, sending stuff to the vegan zombie. All right, let's see. What is this stuff? I like this filter. You guys like this filter? Oh, you're in upstate. Me too. All right, let me turn the chili off. Let that cool off. Right, I'll try to find this. There it is. Twenty-seven. Okay. Pour the contents into a bag, into a cup or small bowl, and add a hundred... Oh, shit. That's pretty easy. 150 milliliters of boiling water. Let me get my boiling water vessel. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like I received a, a care package. All right, should I go back to my normal? Let's let's see. Maybe there's another filter where I look better. Blush, beam, no filter. Give me more fun filters. What's this one? Ooh, this looks like um, this looks like old school. <laughs> Documentary. Ooh, sepia. Ooh. Haunt. <sighs> you guys want to go to the vintage one? We got eight millimeter. Let's do this one. How do I get rid of you? Go. Go. Oop. Take on me. Beam up. Oh, okay, okay. So what's the, wait, what's this one? 
All right, let's do bubbles. Slate. Crush. I like dream. Ooh, I'm dreamy. Graham is using, <laughs> learning how to use his phone. Yeah, and with a live audience of my best friends. S silver screen. Oh, that's nice. It's like I'm in a wonderful life. I want a big one. That used to be my favorite movie. I like this one. You, we're gonna watch, this is eight millimeter. Okay, 150 milliliters. Which is about Okay, chocolatey deliciousness for dessert. Just gotta boil this real quick. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna take out the, uh, I'm gonna take out the, the tofu and flip it. It is reducing really quickly. I love it. It's reduced to about half. Do I have tongs up in this piece? No, I didn't I didn't drop it on the floor, you goon. I didn't drop anything on the floor, you foo fighter. I'll friggin' oh That's hot. I'm gonna turn that down to 350 now. Let it kinda simmer simma simma ma 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 ma. I love you. I do, I really love you so much. I do. Mike, there's they are the best snuggling dogs ever. Okay, we got boiling water. Let's uh, add this to our chocolatey goodness. What is this anyway? Oh, this is chocolate rice pudding. Rice, rice, baby. Stir well with a spoon. I'm gonna use old Woody. You know, I kind of left it on the burner for a little too long. Burner, I just met her. I'm wearing sweatpants, that's fine, right? So there's our chalk. We gotta let it sit for seven to 10 minutes according to Niels. I'm a, we've been hanging out for 92 minutes, hour and a half. You sick of me yet, you guys?
this is nice. See, I'm not sitting on the couch watching TV, wasting away. I'm making some food. I'm hanging out with some of the best people on the planet. Now what I do is I add my chips. Linda, what if these were Fritos? How happy would you be right now? Let me get rid of this filter now. I'll put, I'll put a normal one on. No filt. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we kicked the bag of blue corn tortillas. Now I'll take my, I'll give this a good shake a -roo. I'm trying to catch up. I'm expecting eyeballs to come out of that red stuff. Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Chili, chili, chill, chill, chili, 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 chill, chill. I didn't drop anything, although there actually there's a couple corn chips on the ground you can eat. I really chili the living hell out of it. Or er, seats uh, sauced it. Cheese it. I sauce it and I cheese it. And I pull up quick to rip trees it. Alright, let me get you in. There's our chili with our blue corn chips and our cashew roasted red pepper cheese on there. <laughs> That's right, fermented cheese, fermented by the John's sack. John's fermented sack. I was keeping it warm. In a day or two. From under cheese. Mm. This chili's been such a great, it's an easy and quick uh, lunch for me. What I do is I, I come home from work because it's about seven, eight minutes from work. I get the girls out to go to potty and I heat this up and then I eat it on the drive back. It's nice. <laughs> you let the girls out when you go, who let the girls out? Boop, 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 boop. Alexa, stop.
used to have a pair of tongs. I'll just make a pair. I'm going to flip the seitan now. Alexa, set timer for 20 minutes. Here's the, uh, this is the kombucha batch. This is pineapple and mango. Let's see how from, um. <laughs> Guess she's ready. <laughs> it just blew it all over me. And my computer. Uh, AJ, I'm going to need a couple thousand more uh, super chats, please. I ruined my computer with... <laughs> that, was, uh, that was all part of the fun, guys. That's why you got to hang out with John. All right, I better pop all of those in the refrigerator. So putting it in the refrigerator will help calm that shit down. These are like ticking time bombs over here. Jeez. Well, that's why you hang out, you guys. You don't want to miss a beat when you're hanging with me because you never know what's going to explode all over me. I have that effect. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Definitely going to need to run that back and play it in slow motion, you know what I'm saying? Because that thing was wow, you know? Some over here on this arm. I'm just looking for more remnants because that thing shot out of, that thing blasted me. Love me some chili, I really do. That was pretty funny. I must say so myself. Oh, what kind of dumplings? Did, what, did you steam them or fry them? 
I got some fried dump. Oh my God, did I tell you guys what I did? So Vietnamese noodle house is right down the block from where I live. I could walk there. And two weeks ago, I ordered two appetizers while we were meal prepping. You know, something to dunk, something to dip. It was like 17 bucks worth of food. I accidentally left a $300 tip. I had to transfer money from my savings. They're gonna give it back. I went there like the next time it was open. But uh, yeah, that's pretty funny. Ooh, that's cool. So I'm thinking about going to the Asian market. I don't know if I'm gonna make it this week or not, but uh, I wanna get some Young Thai coconuts and I wanna make a couple of um, smoothies. A lot of my friends, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but a lot of my friends do not like coconuts. They don't like coconut water. They don't like coconut milk. Um, I love it. I love the sweetness. When you blend it properly in a Vitamix, I love the texture. I haven't gotten the money back yet, but I did I did um, buy food there the other night. Went over to my friend Paul and Janelle's house for the night. And uh, the guy saw me and he's, um, I'm pretty sure he's Vietnamese, but. He's like, oh, did you get your email? Did you hear back from the corporate office yet or the other office? I said, no. I said, no, not yet. He said, oh, okay, cool. He said, maybe it takes a while. I'm like, yeah, it's okay, I figured. When I was working at Organic Avenue, I have to crack open like 200 coconuts a day or, or 100 coconuts a day, it was ridiculous, but I loved it. I just pour myself a big quart cup, you know, those plastic ones that they have in restaurants, and I just like be drinking that the whole time. So good. I get fired. Well, I don't work there anymore. I don't even think that store exists anymore. Chocolate chili is ready to party. So this is rice pudding, rice chocolate pudding. I'm interested to try it. Oh no, you guys can see who I'm talking to. I don't like this. Whoa, this is what I look like from behind? Weird. <laughs> You're getting lost in the smaller screen. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. You're watching me on a 65 inch screen. I'm gonna need you to take a picture and I'll tag me in that. That's gotta be huge, that's what she said. Why didn't somebody tell me my ass was so big? <laughs> Spaceballs. We ain't found shit!
Let me just show you guys before I finish up my dinner um, what the tofu looks like. It's done for the night. I am gonna probably transfer it into a smaller vessel, if you will. Come on, get out of there. You know what, turn around. Turn around, right, yeah. Every now and then I fall apart. Oop, all right. Well, there's our tofu for tomorrow. You see how much of that liquid is just like evaporated or reduced down? <clears throat> um, I'm excited. Uh, hopefully it's delicious tomorrow. I'm not even going to try it. I can't wait to make tomorrow's food though. Like I was really excited when we came up with the idea. My face is... So that's what I look up like. At least I don't have anything in my mouth, on, on my mouth. I'm going to shave into a Fu Manchu for Mustache May. What do you guys think? That's gonna really get the ladies. It looks like salmon in the making. Ill. Hey, it's me. Who's that guy? Hey, bud. Hey, bud. It's gonna be all right. I've had like 30 something people in here the whole time. What a great source of friendship you guys are. <laughs> Almost done with my chili and then we'll try the uh, chocolate pudding. And then it's 10, 13, I could probably Joe Dirt Sideburns instead. All right. I'll tell you what, you guys get me a mullet like Joe Dirt has, I'll wear that for the whole month of May too. Dang! <laughs> yeah, me too. I mean, I don't know if Kelly's gonna be able to come over for meal prep Sundays, but I wouldn't mind doing this kind of stuff every Sunday. Even even if I, you know, when it gets crazy at work, I'll be home by like 7.30, pop online, make some food with you guys. It's mostly you guys talking to each other in the chat that makes me happy, you know? Just my face in the background, eating chili. <laughs> I'll freaking every now and then I'm all aboard. Wilder! Wilder! Good girl! Oh, hi, Boo Boo! What do you got? Some, you need some water? You don't want that. It's a beat. Hi, babe! I love you. Want water? You gotta go side. You gotta go side, go potty? Wanna go out? Want some water? Is that what you want? You want some water? I love you. Oh, you're such a cute girl. Oh, I miss what you said. You might throw the whole jar out of what? Doe and Jay? you to come to bed. Is that what you want? You want snuggles? I love you.
fermented soybeans. Oh. What's the difference between the that and miso? Because that's what miso is, also fermented soybeans, right? Oh, it's a Korean condiment. So is it is it mixed with some other like chilies and stuff? Hi. Don't wag your tail at me, you cute girl. Did you know you're the most beautiful dog? I would never leave you. Nope, never. You're with me till the end. Yeah. I am so full. Jeez. All right, fine. I'll give you a little T-R-E-A-T. Now I want to make chili. It's, dude, vegan vans. It was good chili. I made a whole batch of it last week, and I still have probably three, four more servings. It's been great. I don't know if my butt likes it. You know, <laughs> a lot of beans in there. That's for you. That's for you. Now go to bed, and I'll meet you there in a minute. Uh, somebody asked if I've watched any movies. No, I haven't watched. I have barely even had the TV on. Um, I have, I have like South Park playing in the, in like the background when I'm trying to sleep just so that I have some sort of background noise. Cause I've been having, I've been having a hard time sleeping the last couple months. Um, I wake up a million times a night. It's like a Get down. That's naughty. Oh, there's mango juice all over the mango juice all over the table. I don't need your hair over I freaking need your bowlable. A kombucha bomb went off in here. <clears throat> all right. Let's try this. All right, this is the rice pudding from Germany. Chocolate rice pudding that Niels sent me. It's interesting. It's not, it's got that, it's got rice pudding texture. It's not overly sweet. Not overly rich. Kind of just like a mild, um, just a mild dessert, you know, not like coyingly sweet. Like when you get a donut and it's filled with like a really sweet cream, you're just like, oh, I feel myself getting the beatus. Okay, let's see. Maybe. No, I want to transfer this.
Alexa, stop. Here's our uh, tofu corned beef thingy for tomorrow's vegan cooking with the vegan zombie. You guys got a little behind the scenes sneak peek of what we're doing tomorrow. I'm excited. unwrap this tomorrow night. This is the Satan log that we're going to be using for our, our thing tomorrow night. You guys are going to want to tune in for sure. I think this is going to be probably my favorite my favorite recipe test with the vegan zombie in a long time. Put some dishes away really quick. I am super full from the chili though, so I'm not gonna eat any more of the pudding for the night. not terribly messy either. A little messy. Most of it, I picked most of it up though. All right, you guys. I think I'm gonna call it a night. So 
We hung out for a couple hours tonight. That was a lot of fun. Our state, um, our corned beef stuff is ready to go for tomorrow. So make sure, uh, I'll, I'll definitely post something on Instagram and uh, make sure your notifications are turned on on the Vegan Zombie channel um, because uh, we'll let you know once we go live. Um, and it's always a blast hanging out with Chris because I'm always trying to make him laugh and we end up having a good time. So hopefully I'll see you all tomorrow and uh, you have a great night. Love y'all. Bye.